Okay, friends, here's a question for you. This is really serious. Should Wrangle Star be banned? Yeah, should he be banned from YouTube? Why, you may be asking? Okay, this week I have been so inundated with this whole clickbait debate. You go anywhere on YouTube now and that's all you see, clickbait. It is the new buzzword. So, what does Wrangle Star do? There he is. He makes a video about how clickbait saved my life. Listen. The content. Do you like to be able to come in the morning or in the evening and, and turn on your computer and, and have something that I've put up for you guys to watch? If you want that, if you like that, you have to understand that this is a business and that I have to be, it's got to be sustaining. It's got to be able to, if I put into it, it's got to give back to me. If you guys want to continue to enjoy this content, it costs money. It costs time. I have to buy things. I have to provide it for my family and I have to be, always be aware of that that it's upsetting and the clickbait is no one likes it but it's that's the world we live in and it's not going to change anytime soon because I click on it and you click on it and it works and it, that's what I have to do if you want the channel to stay up if you want me to continue to make con make content I've got to play by the rules to get my views videos viewed as many times as possible and that's what the goal okay so Rango Star exposed himself he just went out there and was honest and explained why he is using clickbait. So we gotta give the guy credit for at least being honest, right? So does he really deserve to be booted off of YouTube for that? <laughs> well, let's listen to some of the comments because they're getting pretty bad. I mean, this is really getting the juices flowing for a lot of people who I think are really just kind of sick and tired of the whole clickbait thing. Listen to some of this. Bullshit. I understand it's a business, but what brought me to you in the first place was your honest approach, and I've watched your slow decline to clickbait and held my tongue. You justifying it is the final straw. The Wrangle Star way is the honest way, and not what you have done for me lately. You get the new people to stay by promoting honesty and not false advertising. Pretty strong stuff. Listen to the rest of this. Google may reward your dishonesty. I won't. If you think it's worth it, then do it. But what happens when Google change and you, lo you lost subscribers? What happens when you have to answer for your dishonesty? Ooh. Content has fallen. You're always preaching. That's why you don't get likes. You say you don't care about the sus uh, subscribers. You're the whiner, not us. Be independent. Be a man of your word. Don't Follow, be a leader. Damn, you're still preaching, unsubscribing. Whoo, it's getting hot in here. Quantity over quality equals dishonesty. I quit subscribing when your videos became more about flaunting your success and product placement. Your videos are infomercials, whether it's a Mavic Pro or a $1,000 Super Angel Juicer or a Yanmar Tractor. This, this goes on and on and on. So, sorry, he's going to talk about it just a little bit on this clickbait subject because it really is spilling over to the smaller channels here. That, that would be me. A Wrangle Star and YouTube and clickbait. This is where we're heading. Uh, YouTube is a business. I mean, this is the fact, people. It is a business. And like you take my channel, I love making my videos. I love making my videos, but they do take a lot of work. Uh, I want to provide good quality content, uh, videos that can help empower you people. But it's really disappointing when I work super, super hard on a video and I post it. I put my heart and soul in it and then um, it just gets lost. 4,000, 5,000 views, nobody's watching it. And I'm thinking, what, what's the problem? This is great stuff. And then instead, they go next door uh, to another channel who has uh, maybe a, a more exciting thumbnail and um, some really wild, um, enticing title, and they get 133,000 hits. Yeah, you know, what do you do? So I see nothing wrong with a channel that decides to be a little more competitive. 
to keep those views coming in so that they can keep doing what they love. And when I say being more competitive, I'm not talking about clickbait and just going off the deep end. No, you know, me running around in a bikini, ah, not gonna happen. <laughs> no, no. Um, but what's wrong with spicing it up? What is wrong with a little bling, a little bling, a little catch title? You know, we live in a world of clickbait. I mean, think about it. When you go to the grocery store and you bring your kids to the grocery store and you go down the cereal aisle, you don't think that's clickbait? Cocoa Pebbles, Captain Crunch, Fruit Loops, all the colors and all the packaging. You know, they, they entice even all, all of us adults. You know, you want to lose weight? Go down the weight loss aisle and what will you see pictures of? Really skinny, sexy looking mamas, right? You know, they're not putting somebody up there who is 100 pounds overweight and got slobbering grease out, dripping out of their mouth. No, because that's not what sells. It's the clickbait. They do it to us every single day because we live in a world of consumerism. Yes, we are consumers. And so it does spill over to YouTube, but this is the thing. We've got the power to click off. Just like we have the power uh, not to buy certain items in the store. Am I wrong? I think, think about, I keep thinking about like Rockstar. Remember that, that, that drink that makes you go crazy and uh, you know, increases your heart rate up to 200? Yeah, Rockstar. Well, you know, think about how they sell Rockstar. Think about the can and think about the marketing behind that. If they would have called it like dirt or mud or, you know, loser, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Yeah, it's all marketing, it's all clickbait. So to really fault some of these channels who are still providing good quality content and they're upping their game a little bit to kind of get through the murky waters. You know, and I'm not talking about sellouts and I'm not talking about somebody being dishonest and being fake and fraud fraudulent because there are plenty of those channels out there. And for even me personally, yeah, I get irritated. I get irritated because we live the life here. We're genuine. And... It's, it's a hard pill to swallow when you see people making stuff up, acting like they're the experts, and then they do the clickbait thing. But I really trust in the viewer. I trust in you, friends, to know where you need to go and click on what you need to click on and to support who you need to support. And that's the thing. Um, like my channel, I, I didn't know that I was dropping in views because people don't understand that on the subscribe button, there's the bell, ding, 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 there's the bell, remember the bell. If you want to support your channel and get in the sidebar, our videos, when the new ones come up, instead of all the clickbait stuff, go to the subscribe button and click on the bell, the bell, everybody has a bell, and that will give you an update for your favorite channel, see, so you can support us. And just give us a little slack. Just know that, yes, um, we have to jazz it up a little bit. I mean, that's just part of what we do here on YouTube. It, it is. So, you know, as long as we're not using sex and we're not being deceptive and dishonest and fake and fraudulent, you know, a little, a little bow tied on a, a package and a, and a little shiny tinsel, I don't know, I think it's okay. <laughs> you know, I go and I put on my 99 cent uh, eyeshadow <laughs> and look, I wear stuff like tights with carrots. You know, is this, is this a uh, clickbait? <laughs> yeah. So just remember friends, um, it really is about supporting the channels that you love and we gotta remember to be kind to each other. You know, Wrangle Star is just trying to make a living. That's it. He's trying to make, you know, we look at Wrangle Star and he's, he's very successful. And I just hope you friends aren't coming from a place of jealousy when you are saying um, these things to Wrangle Star uh, because we're, we're all human and we need to make a living. And some of us like Wrangle Star do it a little better. And he's been very successful at it. Uh, so, you know, I can only wish him well. That's it. Oh, hang on. Here comes Mr. Hilder's been reading more of the comments. And, uh, oh, I gotta turn his internet off. <laughs> he's, getting, he's not getting the work done today. So the comments are getting really bad. I but just read this one and I just had a complete. I, I mean, I just might as well ram my head into the wall. Or in fact, I think that's what most Americans have done or something. <laughs>
the guy says, it was hilarious. I, I should just go get it and read it. He's, he's like, uh, oh yeah, the next time somebody offers uh, you more money, he's, he's in favor of Reading Star. So he's talking to the commenters, the bad commenters. He's like, yeah, the next time somebody offers you more, more money for something, say, no, I'm good. No, I don't want it. No, I'd, I'd rather stay at my shitty job and, oops, oops, oh, Mr. Hill's War. I'd rather stay at my miserable job and, and be unhappy. I'm good. Work for half nothing. I mean, what is wrong with people? You know, we don't get free, we don't get any, we don't get free, nobody sends us free stuff. And I can care less. I can care less. But if someone's going to be offering me money for something, I would have to surely consider, well, what's, what's the deal here? I wouldn't be like, ah, I'm good. No. Nope. You're good. Mr. Hilder's good. I think... I'm I driving think, my own crappy truck around. No, I don't want the new truck. I'm good. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want the crappy truck. I think that's the, 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 the point that we, some of us are getting... The comments are really getting They're bad. Hilarious. And And I, I, I can empathize with some of the commenters in the road that they're going down because they are upset about the clickbait and they talk about the dishonesty and everything. But we also have to give Rangel Star... Uh, I mean, he's a man. He, he, this is a business for him. He's coming from a different place. And although right. a lot use the clickbait to function within YouTube to continue to get views and make money, wait, how, how can, I mean, See, if, I if we don't like he, He's made it well known that this is a business for him. He's got kids to take care of. Why, why wouldn't you want to give your kids a better life? Mm -hmm. I, I don't get That's it. just the way of, of, of YouTube, and I yeah. think I think many people who are attacking uh, Wrangle Star, and I don't like to see anybody attacked. No, I, I really don't. I, 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 I think we need to have compassion for people and empathy, and we really um, we lose that when it comes to YouTube because we hide behind the anonymity of the computer screen, and we think we can say whatever we want. And it's sad because a lot of those comments are really getting bad on Wrangle Star's channel. And well, the people are just jipping themselves. How can you, how can you fault the guy? Yeah. I, I yeah. get it. I had to go back to yeah. Flushing Heights. <laughs> yeah, he's got to go, he's got to go back in the shop now. I don't even comment that. This is for subscribers already, too. Don't forget about this. There's the red subscribe button. You push that button and there's a bell. Bing, 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 bing. A little bell that comes up. You got to click that bell so that you get, like, my updates or your favorite channel updates. That's how you can wade through the clickbait and on your sidebar, you'll start seeing me and your favorite channels. Gotta click the bell. So there are ways that you can get around clickbaiting. But, you know, this is just a story of opinion. The world we live in is clickbait. And you can get upset about it, but there is no getting around it. That's it. So, all right, friends, that's Starry's opinion. And I didn't give a disclaimer, but uh, do, do you think Wrangle Star should be voted off of YouTube? I vote 